It's uh, raining today, so we're going to have two of these today. I haven't been that active on it. This one's just a short rant. I, um, I have a Fire TV. I stream a lot of, uh, have streaming services and uh, watch that. I don't watch the mainstream what I call over-the-air broadcast anymore. So I have uh, fire TVs, fire sticks stuck in TVs here and there. And I had a main one. The first one I ever had was what's called a fire TV, which is uh, much more uh, robust than the fire sticks. Okay, the point being is, and that's what I'm going to rant about, is operating system obsolescence. Um uh, Everything uh, is more and more becoming uh, software or firmware based. It has a microprocessor in it, and it runs uh, some program. It, it, like uh, they still make washing machines and dishwashers with mechanical switches that you have to rotate around to to do a particular uh, function, uh, dryers like that. Uh, but they're being slowly replaced by a microprocessor chip-based thing, and you, it's all software-driven, and uh, it gives a lot more features of function, and it's cheaper for them to, to uh, mass-produce, and it gives them the ability to do software updates. If they make a boo-boo, they can just send you a, a, a download update to your washing machine or your television or your whatever. That's been going on for some time. Uh, the problem I have with it is, is like I had, so I have Apple products. I've had them on and off. I never buy them. My wife gives them to me. But nonetheless, I first ran across that where the iPhone that I was given would no longer update. I think it, they had switched over to 32-bit processors and anything that had the old 16-bit processor, they were not going to support it. Just like Microsoft said, well, we're not supporting Windows 9 anymore, 8 or whatever. It's a uh, operating system obsolescence that bothers me. In a sense, you don't, you, what are you going to do with an obsolete piece of hardware that you can't update anymore? Eventually, it just won't run anything, so it's landfill. You know, uh, recycle. I mean, you can't even recycle this stuff. So here was, I had Amazon Fire TV and uh, uh, HBO Max changed over to just to called Max. You know, they, they're bundling other stuff into it, so they took sort of the HBO label off of it. And to do so, they, you had to download a new app, okay? Well, I did. Well, it wouldn't run. It kept crashing. And I go, what the hell is wrong? So I reinstalled it, and I rebooted it, and I did this, and I did that, and I still couldn't get it to work. And when I did some digging, it turns out that the new Max app only will run on uh, the iOS operating system that's built into Fire TV has to be a version 7 or 8 or 9, I don't know which one was. When I checked my particular version, it was 5. And obviously Amazon no longer uh, provides update to my old hardware. So I had no choice but to swap out my old and buy a new one. And... Um, uh, gripey. I don't like it. It's, uh, you know, I had the same thing with uh, Windows. You probably experienced it. The old hardware wouldn't be updated anymore because it doesn't have the features and functions that Microsoft and their wisdom decided you had to have to be safe from a security point. So that was Windows 11 especially required various hardware on the board that if you didn't have, you couldn't run Windows 11. Here we are with Fire, Amazon Fire TV, and obviously it can't be updated anymore. Uh, I didn't even realize it was stuck at five when there had already been seven and eight updates. I haven't looked at my Fire Sticks. I suspect they're the same way. They're going to become obsolescent. Now, 
fact that I couldn't run Max on my old uh, Fire TV, and it's eight, nine years old, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I could live without Max, but the fact that I found out that it's not being updated uh, with new versions of the operating system mean this is just the start. Max is the first act that's saying it's got to have seven or eight, whatever the operating system version is on it. And, uh, but the others will follow suit for whatever reason, security being one. Perhaps they'll install the thing where you can't share a streaming service. That is sooner or later coming. Uh, I think a lot of people do that. One of them buys a subscription, and then we have uh, relatives or friends share that particular streaming service. And perhaps with upgraded operating system, there'll be some features and functions in there that the uh, Streaming service can use to say no, you can't share it. You each have to buy your own subscription. Now maybe that's part of the uh, operating system feature function that is only available on uh, the newer version. So I understand, I understand, I understand, but I don't like it. Um, I had a washing machine that was, you know, microprocessor controlled, and uh, no idea, you know. That one, you would have to go out of your way to be able to get a download, update it. And if they made a boo-boo in the software where, you know, there would be certain occasions when a sensor wouldn't read the right data and the thing wouldn't run, you're stuck. You know, it's like, uh, how do you update your, the, it's called firmware. And uh, printers, you probably have seen this, the printers have firmware in them, that, which is a stored program that the microprocessor that's in the printer runs. And it's, uh, it's like uh, there's no hard drive in the printer, but there is memory in the printer that holds the program. And periodically, because there's boo-boos when they design the thing, they have to update it. A lot of times it's just a security update. But you'll come on your printer and say it needs an update, or they'll ask you to check for updates. Uh, same way with Windows 11, you get updates all the time. Your phone gets updates all the time. The apps get updates, all that stuff. But eventually, underneath of it all, the operating system won't be updated anymore because the hardware, the actual transistors and the logic chips and all that stuff that's on the boards, you can't even, so small you can't even see it, won't support it. So it's off to the dump, you know? I don't know a solution to that. Uh, once upon a time, there was a compatibility issue. Like the FCC said, okay, if you're going to come out with AM stereo, it has to be compatible with the old radio. You can't say the old hardware is not. You, you can't ignore the hardware issue, a historic hardware issue. But that went away, uh, just like uh, digital television. Uh, there still is over the air but it's all digital now. There's no analog television at all. So if you had an old analog TV, you had to get a converter for it or throw it away. And that is not good policy. We're supposed to be recycle, reuse, rebuild, whatever. But no, that's not what is happening. So this is just a rant. Operating system obsolescence, operating system software, uh, End of life cycle, that's what they call it, end of life cycle. And the software um, won't be updated anymore, and new stuff, you can't use it, so you got to trash it. I don't like it. This is a rant. Uh, I don't know a solution to it. Um, um, maybe the other thing, Internet of Everything, where every device has built in a Wi-Fi aspect to it, so my washing machine could contact the manufacturer and say, okay, update me. You know, uh, I understand uh, the uh, hardware evolves over time and that uh, eventually the hardware just won't run some sort of program. Maybe there's not enough space for the new program. And the programs are, you know, we're tired of writing it in this language because it's uh, so difficult, so we'll change it to a higher level language, which makes the program size larger and unfortunately, my washing machine doesn't have enough memory to store the program, 
So I can't have that program and I can't get the update. Uh, same with cars. The cars got a program in it. And uh, uh, Ford, after a while, just doesn't provide updates to the car management system anymore. Uh, the hardware doesn't support it. And they, why would they want to spend a whole lot of money uh, updating software uh, on a car that's 12 years old? They just don't do it. You know? So we have this aspect of the technology that we're going to have to learn to deal with. And I just don't like it. I don't know the solution is. You can regulate it and say, well, uh, you know, you've got to you got to make it compatible some way. Uh, that would just raise the cost. Uh, there's ways to do it, but it costs money. You know, there's ways that you can use programmable memory in such a way that you can even programmable memory a processor chip. You know, it doesn't have to be fixed. The hardware can, in fact, be adjusted and add new features and functions at the hardware level so you can support a new operating system, the updates. All that's possible, but not done yet. Maybe it will be in the future. I don't know. Uh, AI thing is a whole other area. But this is a rant. I just don't like the operating system obsolescence. Apple is the first time I ran into it, but now I'm running into it with Amazon Fire TV. I uh, ran into it when they converted over to digital television instead of analog like it used to be. Uh, it's going to happen more and more. And you'll say, well, uh, you know, it just doesn't work anymore. So you're going to throw it in the trash anyway. But you have to understand the underlying reasons is, well, it won't take an update. You can't, you know, it was just supposed to work. That's what you want. That's what I want. It's just supposed to work. And it's supposed to work for as long as I own it. As long as it still turns on and does its functions, it should work. I shouldn't have to throw it away because it's too old. There's a mentality we have now. Well, it's not new. You know, I need a new phone because I don't have all the new features and functions. I don't know, maybe I'm just too old for that. I just need some new stuff all the time. I need new stuff all the time. I need new stuff all the time. No. Random day. I, do I feel better? No.